Now a warning to our Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander viewers, the following story contains the name and image of an Indigenous person who has died. Western Australia's Corrective Services Minister has conceded poor procedures and staff inadequacies played a role in the death of Cleveland Dodd. The 16-year-old died last month, more than a week after being found unresponsive in his cell in Cassiarina's Unit 18, which houses young offenders inside the maximum security adult prison. Reporter Darina Zaverna joins me now from Perth. Darina, Corrective Services Minister Paul Papalia just released an interim review into the death. What did it find? Well, look, the report had already confirmed what much of the ABC investigation from earlier this week found around the incident and exactly what happened on the night that Cleveland was found in his cell. That included the fact that staff didn't have radios on them, which delayed their response, as well as the fact that they weren't wearing their body-worn cameras and, more shockingly, that at least one staff member was w watching movies during the incident. Mr Papalia spoke a short time ago. Here's what he had to say. Individually, none of these things are acceptable. Collectively, they are disturbing and confirm the need for significant cultural change. Before, before I pass over to Commissioner Royce, I'd like to make one more point. While it is without question there was a severe lack of procedural compliance on the night, the purpose of this report is not to establish what, if any, of these elements directly or indirectly contributed to Cleveland's death. And Darina, Minister Papalia and the Commissioner of Corrective Services announced some immediate changes would be made. What are they? Well, the new Corrective Services Commissioner, Brad Roy, said he was committing to change. This included working through some of those cultural and operational issues with staff. He said he was dedicated to raising the standard of following procedure. And he also announced a new body-worn camera system, similar to that of WA Police, which will live stream it back to the uh, operational centre. He hopes this will make the facility safer for staff and detainees.